Good day. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Culture and news in English from Poland. And with us is a great artist, Maya Alexandra Gatskowska. Thank you very much for coming. Mm, hello. <laughs> well, you are an artist, but also entrepreneur in many ways. And you're trying to promote art, not only of yourselves, but other artists as well. Yes. But coming back to your own pieces, uh, we can see some figurative art uh, in, uh, in your paintings. Uh, some cartoons, but also I would say cells or yeah, uh, abstract. Abstract. Yes. So tell us what is what is it about and what you're currently working on. Okay, so uh, one of my series is a cell series. Uh, I call it like this because they are they are they literally look like cells under the microscope. Uh, cells, cell is a very important word for everyone, not necessarily with the same meaning, but it is an important world, a word. And uh, me painting that, I'm trying to give the spectator a good energy because every cell is separately shaded. So by shading it, uh, at the final effect, it gives an impression that painting literally is giving you an energy. I hope good energy. <laughs> that, that's the okay, so it's like in a living organism. Yes, a little bit, yes. And I'm doing this uh, with many different colors. Uh, every color is specially mixed by me, so none of the colors come straight from the tube. I'm creating every color by myself. And currently I am focusing on this series. The big photo shoot is coming. There will be a chamber of cells. It's a very interesting project. And with this series, me and the gallery, uh, we are trying to go on the Eastern market, uh, bringing them to Dubai. We already having a conversations with one of the uh, Dubai's art galleries. So cross your fingers and... Uh... Well, <laughs> hopefully then a lot of, I mean, some sh Dubai shakes or someone <laughs> will buy yourself I and that. <laughs> get some energy from them. Yes. And uh, my other series, because I already told about uh, consumerism of 21st century in the uh, episode before, uh, cells. And the third of my series is a uh, Wednesday series, comes from Wednesday Adams, from the Adams family. And this is uh, my tribute to Tim Burton, whom I love. He's an amazing director, he's a person with amazing had amazing ideas, amazing imagination, and I was actually growing up on his movies. So as a tribute, I created this series. At the moment, I have uh, three paintings and I'm using like all black I can find. So black paint, black glitter, um, using the many different mixed media, for example, ceramic clay, uh, which I used to do these little spirals that really that are really characteristic for Tim Burton movies. And but my question is, when you when you take something from a different an artist or a different media, such as movie as a film, are there you no know, any uh, rights problems or anything like this? Uh, no, because uh, as long as I'm making this handmade and I'm putting a story to it, uh, it's a tribute to this person. It's the same with using brands. The rule is that the final product has to be at least 30% different from anything that this brand ever made. So uh, I see. Yes. So you yes. just remaking it, reinterpretation, and doing it yourself. Yes. Uh, just with some element and inspiration is not a problem. No, it's not a problem. Uh, especially definition of pop art is a style that was born after the Second World War, and it was just putting logos and commercials on artwork, canvas, papers and stuff, let's say, for example, Andy Warhol. Of course, it's a Andy perfect Warhol, example yes. of that. Uh, so, yeah, it still looks like this and I can, as an, as an artist creator, I can use that without any complaints. <laughs> Any complaints? You yes. don't have a call from yes. it. It's my tribute. I'm paying tribute and I'm doing this from the bottom of my heart and every of my series has a, a meaning. You can read about it uh, and it has a really deep second bottom. <laughs> I see. So maybe uh, maybe Tim Burton one day will 
we'll see any of your... Oh my God, that would be uh, my biggest wish. Uh, I've put really a lot of my heart into it because I know his movies really, really well. My paintings has titles uh, related to his movies. For example, one of, the uh, one of the paintings behind us with the big glasses. I called this painting uh, Wednesday Adams meets Willy Wonka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, so in... Royal Dahl meets... Tim Burton. <laughs> yes, a little bit, but Tim Burton made the movie with Johnny Depp, so they had these big glasses in one scene. So I've put these glasses and this is uh, my connection between that, except that I used coloristic uh, from, for example, Corpse Bride by Tim Burton. Amazing movie, it's a masterpiece. And as I said, I'm using many different materials and for example, those glasses you can see on the painting, I found in my basement and those lenses, because those are like uncutted lenses for sunglasses, uh, my father was bringing from Italy 20 years ago. So I put this vintage element into that. So there are real lenses on yes, the canvas. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of crazy elements in all of this. I would say to all the fans of uh, pop art and modern movies, especially Tim Burton, but also Royal Dell and Johnny Depp, I would say. Uh, the Maya Alexandra Gatskowska pictures and paintings are definitely uh, inspired by them and devoted to such kind of customers. So be interested in them and of course stay with us for another episode because we continue with our story.